Hey everybody, welcome back to another episode of Camouflage of the World. I'm Mike B, and today we're going to be taking a look at the Canadian Cad Pet TW, or Temperate Woodland. So this is just known as Cad Pet to most people like myself. Um, this was a pattern that was kind of introduced in 1996, officially in 2002, from what I've been uh, reading and gathering. But um, in 1996, that was uh, there was a bunch of trials going on to kind of get Canada a new entire uniform because they were up, in the, up until that point using all of drab and some DPM and some units. Um, so anyway, they decided to go with a pixelated camouflage pattern. And it, although it wasn't the first one to ever be used or tested ever, uh, it was the first one to be adopted on a very large scale. And then this is kind of what led to the digital era, I guess, around the the turn of the millennium, everyone went to a digital pattern, it seems, within that next 10 years. Um, but this is the this is the OG of digital camouflage patterns that were issued by a country's military, not just in special units or for testing or whatever, because I know I know the US did that in the 70s or whatever, but we're talking about CAD pad here. Um, I'll be also making a video with this, because this is actually an original piece. This stuff is extremely hard to find. It's very regulated in Canada. Um, it's treated as basically a sensitive item because they don't want people wearing them and you know, they're, you know, committing crimes, pretending to be soldiers. I don't know what their reasoning is. I don't understand people who live in countries that strictly regulate the wear of like, even just this out, out and about, like without any name tapes or anything, if you're not pretending to be a soldier or whatever, I mean, you gotta have an ID card, right? I don't understand why people get so weird about that, but anyway, chime in if you're in one of those countries, but yeah, Canada, Canada really keeps a, a lock a hard uh, or they run a tight ship we'll say when it comes to their cad pat uniforms and stuff stuff um they destroy the stuff that's not being used anymore and they just wear it into the ground so that's why it's pretty cool to have an actual um set of this or a shirt of this i do have a civilian version we'll call it uh set which i'll be comparing this to in another video but this is just going to be talking about the pattern itself all right now that we've gotten that done you can see here this one's a little bit faded but it's actually in pretty good shape uh, some of the Canadians that I've heard, they call us the relish pattern, and I tend to agree. The colors are very, uh, very green. And oddly enough, well, not oddly enough, I live in uh, northern Wisconsin, for those of you that don't know, and this pattern works extremely well in the summer. I mean, extremely well. Even the civilian version of this, that's not quite the same, works extremely well. This is a very effective camouflage pattern, and someday I'll try to get the arid pattern and do a video on that, but for now, this, this is going to have to do. This is really hard for me to get anyway. Um, there's a couple ways to tell that it's real. I'll just kind of go over that in this one. First of all, you got the little Canadian flag patch right there. This is, according to Devin K, this is an earlier, not an earlier one, but like one of the ones from the early 2000s, one of the first styles, I guess. I think they're still using this. Um, but I don't know. It's got the little epaulette thing right there. It's, it's not like modern. I don't know if they're still like issuing this or whatever, but this was issued in the early 2000s. So it's one of the earlier uniforms with the little pockets. Now, one of the real telltale ways to tell that it's genuine cad pat is the presence of these little crosses right there so these are actually made and thrown in that pattern to defeat infrared or night vision basically night vision at night when people are looking at you you can actually see certain camouflage patterns better than you can if they were just wearing like a solid color or something so that's why they did that and this actually serves two purposes yeah it's a visual camouflage and it's also a night vision or infrared camouflage so they're still keeping in mind that, you know, other countries have this technology that we've had for a while and we got to be cognizant of that. So um, I, I, IR testing is very, very common, especially in modern camouflage patterns. It's a must. It's part of the, the rigors of the testing. So that little cross in there kind of messes up the, I guess, profile, if you want to call it. So it actually makes you blend in a little bit better. You can see there's another partial cross right there. But yeah, the civilian patterns, the civilian copies will not have that. Also the material, I don't know how to explain it. We'll look at the tags in a little bit, but it's kind of a lightweight polyester or nylon and cotton material. It actually seems really comfortable. Um, I'm just trying to describe it. Yeah, it's a, got a nice tactile feeling to it. So, but anyway, I think uh, Devin was either joking or he was serious talking about these are magazine pockets. Um, they don't look to be long enough, but anyway, they're pretty small, they're slanted. And then the big giant, pockets down here for uh yeah there's no no dividers in there but yeah you can throw definitely throw a lot of stuff in there you got the nice big british style buttons i actually don't mind those those are pretty convenient when you're trying to get into something pretty quick so yeah and then you've got the, the also the same style buttons that run here and actually close this baby up so yeah a little velcro name tape i think there's i think yeah i'm almost positive they wear a different uniform now it's got more velcro on it 
for identification purposes. The Canadian flag is still there, though. It's pretty, it's pretty standard. It's just in a different little spot. Um, anyway, <laughs> so I digress. So this is one of my favorite digital patterns. It's probably my favorite digital pattern, to tell you the honest to God truth. Um, it's the OG, and I just, because the colors work so well up in this area, I really wish this particular one fit my uh, fat behind, because this is like a size small, and I wear a size extra fat, unfortunately. So um, I'll have to be selling this on my shop after I do the comparison video. We'll get a little bit more education out of this. Um, but anyway, yeah, this will be available for sale, so one lucky person will actually get a genuine Cad Pet piece of clothing. Um, now we'll look at the tags and kind of the inside of the garment and then we'll conclude the video. They're going to have all that information on there and it's also going to be half French which is pretty interesting. Um, and yeah okay there looks like a date right there I missed that before so 3 of 05 it looks like so yeah Devin was correct. Um, it's got the person's initials it looks like on there and all that stuff. But uh, yeah and then also on the inside left breast pocket there's a giant pocket like a hidden pocket that's sealed, or closed with Velcro. I hate Velcro, so I'm not going to do that right now. But yeah, that's another way to tell. And then here's the back of the material itself. There's a nice drawstring, too, to get this nice and nice and form-fitting and snug. And also in colder climates, you have to do that. Otherwise, the cold air gets into your core, and you start like getting ready to die because your core temperature drops. But anyway, really cool design. I really wish it fit me again. I don't know how many times I've said that, but I'll probably say it a couple more times. All right, so there's the inside, and I'll give you one more look at the tag. That's another way to tell if it's legit. All right, we'll move on. All right, so in conclusion, it's just a really awesome pattern. I just can't say enough about it. So, yeah, thanks to Devin K for authenticating this. I got this, and there's a lot of fakes out there, but uh, now that you've seen the tag on the inside, you can tell it's a genuine article. Again, I really wish I could keep this, but I can't justify it if it doesn't fit me. And it's never going to. I don't think I'll ever be able to fit into a small. <laughs> anyway, yeah, I hope you enjoyed this video quite a bit. Um, I certainly was happy to finally get my little second piece of genuine Cad Pat clothing here. Um, yeah, if you got any questions, I'll try to answer them. Or Devin could probably answer them as well. Uh, he lurks in the comments quite a bit. And he was in the Canadian Army, so he knows a lot about this stuff. Because he was issued it. Anyway, thanks for watching, everybody. I do appreciate it. If you consider becoming a supporter on Patreon, that would be great. Not just for these kind of videos, but for helmet videos, ballistic test videos, uh, shooting videos, all that stuff that costs a lot of money. And thanks to the help of my current and past patrons, I've been able to do some really cool stuff that I otherwise wouldn't have been, a, to be, been able to afford out of pocket. So I really do appreciate that. It's a dollar a month, 12 bucks a year, five bucks a month or more. It gets into my Discord. It's a really fun time. And it supports the channel. And it's really helping so far so i appreciate my current patrons you guys rock and if you consider doing that that'd be great if not i totally get it i do appreciate you watching hopefully you learned something and uh hopefully if you didn't know about this pattern now you do because it's definitely worth a mention so thanks for watching everybody and we'll see you on the next episode of camouflage of the world